So now my downtime, I get a lot of these magazines, these uh, things, you know, like Cabela's to be specific. And I'm flipping through these things. And usually I flip through these things to get an idea. I'll get like, um, you know, just an idea for like my sling pack when I go, because I, I like to use the minimum amount of equipment as I can get away with. Sometimes you go to the unknown, but usually if I go to a specific stream, I kind of know what I'm getting myself into. I know what the trout are. I know if it's bass, so I can prepare better. I'm not one of those guys that comes out there and looks like I'm wearing a, uh, a Ghostbuster outfit. No, I'm just going small sling, sling pack, water, a little bit of food, and I'm good to go. But yeah, once in a while, you come across some ideas out of these magazines. Most of the time, it's just stuff in there you don't really need. Yeah, it would be cool if you had it, but it really serves no additional function for when you're when you're out there. But if you see something you really want it, you know you got the money, have at it. But most of the stuff, man, I if I spend a hundred dollars on a new vest, I'd rather spend that hundred dollars on putting it towards a flight on a trip or uh, maybe a new rod or some something that's more practical for me. But uh, some of the stuff out there is just completely it's just crazy. But um, if you got the money and you want that, great. But usually I take about five to ten minutes burn through one of these magazines. Um, if I see something in there of interest, then I'll make cut it out. Most of the time I really don't cut it out, but this time I came across something really cool. Oh, if I gotta find it. All right, I found it. But basically it's a, it's a list of different flies. I don't know if you can see them in there. It'll list your different uh, emergers, caddis, terrestrials, um, it will have different, different types of hackle in here, um, hook sizes, hooks, hook forms, different bead heads, and I think that's a really good use um, resource to use for future down the road. So I have a, usually a little file, file, like a manila envelope, like this, and um, basically what I'll do is I'll cut these out, or I'll jot down notes or something, and uh, that's that's all used for future reference. Like if so, if I'm looking for this particular type of midge, I can resource this. Yeah, I understand it's easy to go to the internet, bookmark a page, and I get that, and I do that as well. But um, but I guess that's why uh, these magazines to me are somewhat useful. Other than that, you know, like I said, five to ten minutes, I burn through it, and then in the garbage it goes. But very once in a while, I'll come across a little article or you know a page, and uh, I'll cut it out and put it in my folder. And either, you know, like I said, I use scissors or it's probably not the most healthiest thing to do, but it's already creased. You just wet it a little bit and you, uh, it kind of just, it'll tear it. I mean, that's, that's just what I do. It's just the easiest thing. That can go over there. That goes down there. But, damn it. Well, I just ripped some of the woolly buggers out. So be careful when you do this, I guess. Again, I'll just use this tool and I'll find the center of these uh, these magazines right here and these uh, the staples. You can actually you can tear them out. I mean, it depends what you want to do, but but I just have my uh, the scale tool here, the best tool on earth. And if uh, licking or wetting this thing isn't uh, your thing to do, you can always just pull out the pages you need, um, take some scissors, fold in half, and like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. So that's why you just write now, down notes. If something's good, write that down, obviously. But if something's bad, then if you have a way to overcome that badness, then write that down. So next time you'll know that, hey, we got a plan, and you can try to execute that plan.